Hi, this is Lex at Max Future, and I'm going to show you how to create a um, case caption in Apple's Pages uh, application on the Macintosh. You know, a lot of people use Word, but Apple has a very cheap word processing program called Pages. And, you know, and this is actually for attorneys, you know, because a lot of attorneys, they have to create court filings. And, you know, how do you create a case caption like a, a case box which is a case caption box for you know a cover page of a brief or a, a court document and um, well I created a template but I'm gonna show you how to do it it's pretty easy so and then I'm gonna show you how to create your own template so let's start a new a new um, document and I'm gonna pick a blank document and here we have it now here's the key the key is you want to create a table and you want some of the table to be invisible and you want some of it not to be. So here's the thing. I won't really want three cells in one row. So, you know, I put the standard table in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to delete this row, delete row, and I'm going to delete this row delete the row so I'm left with really only one row I'm gonna delete all the rows and then um, I'm gonna delete let's see can I delete this row delete now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna delete uh, one column so we only have three columns so delete column so here's the thing like I have I have um, actually I'm gonna delete this too if I can delete row so I only have one row there we go one row and now I'm gonna like s change the spacing and grab I'm gonna grab this thing here I'm gonna move it let's see, actually I'm gonna move this uh, let's see how we do this uh, there you go you get that little thing there wait it's not moving let's see if I move there there we go I'm gonna move it like that and then I'm going to move this like that more over. That's going to be the caption box. Now, why am I putting uh, three three boxes? Because this is going to be the spacing between um, the box where the caption is and where and where you know you're going to type like the the court and the judge's name. Uh, and the reason I want a box is because then it'll align better. Now, let's see. This is what it's going to look like. See here, I have this box, but if I click here. In here, there's actually three bo boxes. This middle box is really narrow just to create some spacing. And I can right here type in, let's say, blank sieve and then blank to fill in the court number and then even put the, the judge's name here, Judge Smith, you know, or Smith, comma, J. That's the convention for... And then the beauty is, um, you know, I can move it down and it's always going to just align. It's not going to go into my caption. And, and, but this box, I don't want any, any sort of um, lines around it. So this is what it's going to look like. And, uh, but I do want lines around this. So let's go back to my blank template. So I have this and all I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my cursor and press return to space it out right and actually just to bring this all the way over I am gonna um, I'm gonna bring the spacing over here a little more over bring that over right all right well I guess this is the maximum and um, now here's the thing like if I take my cursor off I don't want that gray there. So here's the key for the formatting for the cell. You're going to you're going to go to format up here. Click that format and then you get a choice uh, table cell and I want to click table. Uh, I want to click cell and keep my uh, cursor on that cell and the color fill. I'm going to click no fill. So now I have no fill there, no fill there and no fill there. And if I take my, and I do have like a little bit of a line there. So here's what I'm going to do for this border style. I'm going to click this border style over here and I'm going to click, 
um, that. So I've got I've got a border style there, but for there I don't want any border style. So I'm going to click. I'm going to I'm going to select that and select. I want all four sides, and I'm going to click no border. So there. So I don't have a border there. And then for the middle one, uh, it, right now it says multiple. I want no border. So, but then here's the problem. I do want a side here on the first box. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click this side there, and click border. So then I have a border there, and I'm going to click um, on the left side. I've got it there on this side and the bottom. Uh, so, so basically I have all the way around, but it looks a little different and that's because I need the thickness to be the same. So here I'm going to, that's going to affect all of them. So I can make it thinner 0.25. I'm going to make it 0.5. So there I have it, right? And then, um, so here I can just write in the case name. So let's just write in the case name. So there we go. Now, if I want to uh, put in the, you know, the judges or the docket number, I can type it in in this third box. And if I want to edit the text, I go to text. I'm going to make that 12 point. I'm going to make all of this 12 point. There we go. And let's say I want to uh, put a like a, a text over it. So I'm going to move this down a little bit from the top. Well, actually, the other way to do it is I can insert a row here. I'm going to insert add, let's see, well, I would have, well, you can see, oh, I can, I can just, uh, I'm going to add some text box there. Let's see. Well, what, what I should have done is created a blank row there. And that's what I did over here, if you look at this version. And so I just have that all, all um, you know, with no, with no um, borders. And so really, you want to pick two rows. So anyways, that's it. And for, for like your name, if it's a cover sheet, you can just put a text box there. I just dragged a text box here. I sized it. And then I just put like the case name there. Now I saved this as a tip template for pages and I'll link it to my blog article where I have the uh, template that you can download. So check it out. This is an easy way to create a caption in pages for a court document.